Welcome back! In my last video, I shared it to you on how to set up Google Classroom. And for today's episode, I'm going to show you on how to set up Google Drive and how important Google Drive to your Google Classroom. But before that, unsa di ay ni ang Google Drive? Well, ang Google Drive is a free cloud storage developed by Google kung asa maka-create, maka-edit, Maka share ta og files sa atong mga co-teachers and if you are a student sa imong mga classmates at the same time using different devices, pwede laptop, desktop, and even mobile phone for as long as naalang kay net connection gamit ang Google server. Now, I'll show you on how to set up Google Drive. Let's go! In this Google Drive page, makita ni Madri Search and Drive. I-click ni mong drop-down arrow and then... Makita lang ni Madiri mong files easily. So, this is the easy access to your file. My Drive, if you click sa nani mong drop-down arrow, og ang new tab, same lang sila settings. Makita ni mo folder, file upload, folder upload, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Now, dirijud ka mo click na tab kung mag-type ka bag po ni mga documents. Like there is a doc. So, kung maghimo ka, test paper, or quizzes, dili na nimo siya i-click para makatype ka. Shared with me, naa dili ang mga files nga gishare sa imo ha. Dili automatic na save. Recent tab, dili po nimo ma-view ang mga recent activities. Like, unsa nga files ang imo gi-open o imo gi-edit. Start tab, muad lang kag star sa file para dali lang na nimo siya ma-locate or makita. Trash tab, whatever nga imong gi-delete nga files or folders, dili na siya tanan mo storage sa trash. And ang storage, doon na na siya indicator din ni Ong, doon na siya bar indicator that will notify you kung naa pa ba kay enough space. Now what if kung hapit na gud mo full ang storage ni mo? So do hare option. First is i-empty ni mo imong trash or mo buy kag additional storage. So, kay 15 gig naman ang gi-allow ni mo nga ma-free kung mo, mo buy pag other storage mo spend na kag money. Here is calendar keep and tasks. Kining plus button mo na siyang mga advanced nga nagiha. And view details kung sa mga activities po niya magihi mo as ang folder list view kung kana siya nga view sa imong file or grid view so mura na siya arrangement na diha now how to link your google drive or your google docs to your google classroom so if these are my files in my google drive and these are my classes so example is muni akong tanan class 7 ko ka class na if naakoy i-post nga bagong material or activities sa akong mga students in my math class ari ko sa classwork click create first na kong i-post is material usa para na sila mabasa and then title exponents and functions okay. and then sa imong description read some material along with even examples. Create. Di man ka mo create, di man ka mo type, kay human naman ka ni type. Ang imo na lang is ang pag-post. Okay. So, mo add ka, i-click na yung mong add button. So, Google Drive ka, ang imong file naman si mong Google Drive. Automatic siya. Kining link is kung ang imong ang material is naas sa mga other nga uh, website. File is kung ang imong i-post is naas sa mong computer. YouTube is kung gusto ka nga na video nga ipakita ni mo mga students. So, arita sa Google Drive and search your file and exponents and functions. So, nakita ninyo na na siya diha ang file pero wala pa na siya na post. You have to double check before you post. Do not click this X kay madelete na siya diha. Now, i-check ni mo kung unsang class, math class math class na nimo makita mo sa na nimo tanan nimo klase diha but then ang imong i-post is sa imong mga math class and then all students 
and then topic is wala topic and then you create topic kung saan siya nga topic that would be exponents and functions okay and I think you're ready to post click post okay, na 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 siya diha makita na na si mga students apart from material what if mo post po kag activity and then graded siya so quiz assignment so this is activity one okay. answer one to twelve show your solution okay. then kining blank quiz form di as of this time di pa man siya magamit so ito lang siya na siyang x so, di man sa create, kaya ready na yung activity. Nga na si mong Google Drive. Click Google Drive. And then, search the file. There, activity 1. Double click lang. And then, your file is ready. But double check first. There is a right side. Math class ba? Tanan ba students maka-view? Pila ka points to siya. So, 1 to 12. That means 12 points. Due date, kanus ani mo siya i kanus ang deadline ana. Let's say a week from now. Um, three time optional kung gusto kang anay oras, ikaw mo set. Topic would be exponents and functions. And then a rubric. Um, kung nakay rubric, so makahi mo kang rubric through here. Pero kung wala, then okay ra po. So, ready to post? Click Assign. Okay. So, naana kay lesson material na post. And at the same time, naana po kay activity na to post. So, kari ka sa stream. Okay, good morning. Good morning, math class. I posted lesson material for you to read. for you to answer. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And then you post it. So, makabalo na sila nga na na di ay si ma'am nakapost na lesson at the same time na natin activity. Then automatic, Ato na sila sa classwork nila. So, dito na sila mag-work. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification para manotify mo sa akong mga upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.